Hello again, everyone, and welcome to another bonus episode of Let's Play Final Fantasy VII. We're at the end of the game, and we're doing a few of the optional things that we can do at this point. When we were last together, we visited one of the people here in the town of Calm, who was looking for a couple of unusual items before he went out on a journey of his own. A map that sunk along with the ship. Guidebook. A rose that blooms once every thousand years in the desert. Desert Rose. A harp that soothes those who hear it. Earth Harp. I wonder if there's anyone who'll bring it to me. We've already got him the Desert Rose, and for that, we got ourselves another Gold Chakabu. But now he's looking for something called the Guidebook and the Earth Harp. I happen to know where both of those are. In fact, in an earlier video, we collected the, the uh, Guidebook. There we go, changed into a Guidebook. But now it's time to get the Earth Harp. There isn't much of a clue on where to get this. We know that it's just an Earth Harp that's supposed to so soothe the spirit. The location of it, though, happens to be underwater. big bad critter over there that we've been avoiding has it. That is the next weapon we're about to do battle with, so wish me luck. This sucker here is the Emerald Weapon, and he's probably even more dangerous than the Ruby Weapon is. Although Ruby Weapon had, um, had tricks to him. One of the big things you may already notice is that timer up in the top left corner. We have 20 minutes to, to defeat this critter, or it's game over. Ruby Weapon was vulnerable to Hades and to be stopped. Emerald Weapon can be slowed, so it's not a bad thing to start off using it. Right now, I've used Big Guard, I've put barriers up on all of us, and we're all hasted. Uh, Emerald here has some attacks that will get rid of that. In fact, that might be it. Let's see. Yep, you can see that Cloud no longer has any barriers on it. Oh, now there's the next thing that makes a root emerald challenging to deal with. It just opened up its eyes. Those eyes, similar to Ruby's tentacles, do gravity damage, which means they do a percentage of damage directly to either our HP or to our MP. Although the eyes are a lot easier to destroy. But just like Ruby's tentacles, destroying the eyes doesn't get rid of them permanently, it just gets rid of them for a little bit. Oh, so still got two of them up. Yuffie, would you kindly do that again? A character can mimic their mimic their own limit breaks. They cannot mimic, mimic mimic their partner's limit breaks. So if we keep doing mime over and over again with Yuffie, she'll keep doing all creation. All right, Cloud, you're going to use Omni Slash. That's gonna hurt. That might kill one of us. Might kill all of us. Nope, not 
quite. Yes, throw some change at him. About 20, uh, 200,000 should do it. Kill Cloud, but I haven't still have enough sense to have Phoenix and Final Attack attached to him. Which means Yuppie's probably going to mimic Phoenix. Let's summon our buddies, the Knights of the Round, just in time because the eyes open back up. And Knights of the Round is usually enough to destroy the odds. There go the eyes, but Barrett's been put down. And it used its revenge stomp as a counter to us attacking it with Knights of the Round. So that's why it interrupted the attack. There are those eyes again. I really need you to use the, uh, the Mega Elixir. Yeah, 
Now Cloud is attacking all of the eyes, as well as Emerald's main body. So this might destroy some of the eyes, and might not. Alright, three out of four, not bad. Now that is where I've been waiting for. Eritam's Storm is no weapon's most powerful attack. Take a look at what it's about to do. It just hit everyone for 9,999 damage. It knocked everybody out. And if we didn't have Phoenix Flame uh, equipped to final attack, we'd be game over right now. If Cloud didn't have enough MP to cast Phoenix, it would be game over right now. Although that attack is special. I'll explain how it works probably in a minute or two. HP is not going to cut it for a white win. And there he is, using it again. You know what, since he's using it twice, I might as well explain how it works now. Eratam Storm is Materia spelled backwards. And it does... 1,111 damage for each Materia your character has equipped. So since we have over 9 Materia equipped, we're taking maximum damage. If you knew about this beforehand, though, you come into the fight prepared to deal with it.
Okay, all four of the eyes. But we ran out of time, and now it's game over. But all in all, we didn't do too bad, did we? It's just that darn time limit got to us. Well, now that we've done battle with Emerald Weapon, we have a little bit of an idea of what it's like. Let's make some adjustments to our tactics. We're back outside the town of Calm, and we're ready for round two with Emerald Weapon. Fighting Emerald Weapon, we now know that there are two big things we have to look out for. One being the time limit, and two being his super attack that does damage based on our materia. The second attack, now that we know about it, we can adjust for. The question becomes though how we handle that time limit. Luckily there is a way to deal with it. Our friend here in Calm was looking for an item called the guidebook. If we give him the guidebook, we get a special bit of materia. So you remember our traveler friend here? Yeah, he wanted the guidebook, and we have it for him. Oh, it's the guidebook. Want to trade it for this underwater materia? The underwater materia is exactly what we need to help us do battle with Emerald Weapon. By equipping the underwater materia, we will get rid of the timer that is slowing us down. So let's trade for it. Okay then, it's a done deal. It's underwater materia. Go on, it's yours. So let's just go and grab it. And with the underwater materia, we no longer have to worry about the time limit fighting Emerald Weapon. Now that we have the underwater materia, if we equip it, we will remove the time limit altogether. And I think we're going to equip that to Cloud right now. We're also going to switch up the materia on Barrett and Yuffie a little bit. Cloud, now that you have the underwater materia, we don't have to worry about the time limits of fighting Emerald Weapon at all anymore. We're also going to switch HP Absorb to MP Absorb, so that way you'll always have enough MP to cast Phoenix. In the case of Barrett and Yuppie, we're going to remove all of their materia, with the exception of Mime. And HP plus. By keeping them with Mime and HP plus, they'll be able to copy moves that they've already done, and they will have max HP. We want them to have max HP because with two materia, they will take exactly 2222 damage, which will put them at 7777 HP if they're at full hit points and they're hit by Emerald Weapon's super attack. That will put them into the Lucky 7 status that I mentioned in the previous video. And hopefully, if I can show it off to you, I'll explain 
why we want that to happen. Now first, let's see if we can find Emerald Weapon. It's still over here, so let's just go run into it. Now, a big part of fighting this time is that we need to keep Yuppie and Barrett's HP as close to maximum. Well, not as close to maximum, but we gotta keep it at maximum. Keeping at maximum though means we're probably gonna have to use a lot of mega lexers. Already dead, huh, Clive?
Wow, we got really lucky with that one. We will get six castings of uh Knights of the Round or before we'll be here we'll be Emerald here did almost anything. Super attack. Nobody's at full hit points though. Alright, well, Clive will bring everybody back. out of uh, summons Knights of the Round. We didn't pull off Lucky 7 once, but we still beat it. And we got a lot of XP and a lot of AP for it. And there you go. There is the Earth Heart. So what do you say we take that back to Calm and see what reward we get for it? Okay, here's our buddy. Let's see what he has to say. Oh, it's the Earth part. Wanna trade it for some Master Material? I'm not being stingy either. I'll give you three of them. So how about it? Let's trade. Okay then, it's a done deal. It's a three-piece Master Material set, and it's all yours. 
I guess it's time to go on a journey for the souls of my departed friends. Well, good luck, buddy. Master Magic. Master Summon. And Master Command. So you're probably wondering what these materia do. But well, we're going to put them on Yuffie. Yuffie is our materia aficionado. So, Master Magic. Master Command. And Master Summon. All summon monsters can be summoned. Equips all commands. Equips all magic. And you see that it has no effects on your stats, positive or negative otherwise. What do you say we run out real quick and get into a fight so we can show it off? Alright, fight time. And you can see that Yuffie has most of the different commands that you can actually get. Steal, manipulate, throw in coin, morph, mine, manipulate, and death blow. So it's not exactly every command, but it's a whole lot of them. On top of that, she has access to every spell. In addition, she has unlimited uses of every sun. So, pretty tough stuff, huh? Pretty nice thing to have. And you know what else? Beating Emerald Weapon is not the only way to get Master Materia. You might be wondering, well, how could we get some more? Well, let me finish this fight, and I'll show you. And here we are in Guggenhagen Observatory. If you remember, he has the huge material that we collected earlier. I told you there was stuff we might be able to do with it later in the game. Well, I've taken the time to master level our materia. All our summon material, all our magic material, and all our command material. So if we come here and examine these huge materials with the master materials, let's get closer. The huge material emitted a gentle glow. This color is the same as magic material. Magic material blend. All maximum level magic material will be blended. Maximum level magic material has been lost. Received one master magic material. Received master magic material. Huge material is glowing strangely. Command Materia Blend. Maximum level Command Materia Blends with Steel, Sense, Throw, Morph, Death Blow, Manipulate, and Mine. Maximum level Materia has been lost. Receive one Command Materia. Perform Materia Blend? Sure will. Receive the Master Command material. Summon the material blend. All maximum level summon material will be blended. Maximum level summon material has been lost. Receive one Master Summon material. Received Master Summon. 
So now we have additional Master Summon, Magic, and Command materials that we can equip for our party members. Barracks lost them because they now exist. And we can do it as many times as we have mastered versions of these materia. So we're going to do it again. And you can keep doing it as long as you make mastered versions of those materia. So if for some reason you have it in your mind, you want every party member to have one, you can do it. Although in my case, it pays to make sure that you actually have mastered versions of all the materia that you need. Now we will blend our magic material. Our command material. And finally, our summon material. There we go. Master Magic, Command, and Summon Materia, all three of our active party members. So, uh, that's it. We are all done with Final Fantasy VII. I tried to show you as much as I could, but when you play through it, play it the way you like, try different things, and just enjoy yourselves. Thank you for watching these videos. I hope you enjoyed them. I enjoyed going through this game again for all of you. I hope I've encouraged you to go out and give Final Fantasy VII a shot yourself. Take care, and I will see you in the next game.